All right, so here's my jig. It's just 24 inches, little one by three in the bottom. And then I took one bys, two one bys on each side, kind of cut one of them wrong, but I just used it for the edge and cut this to fit the width of this piece of vinyl J channel. So it'll fit right inside, just like that. My first hole on the J channel would be, I'm using 15 30 seconds inch drill bit. That's the perfect for the bulbs to snap in. And my first cut or my first hole will be an inch and a quarter in from the end. Let me get that drilled real quick. Now I got the first hole drilled, I can set this in my drill press, clamp it down so that the hole, hold this up. there's the hole, and that's two and a half inches from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. So, because the width between these bul bulbs are about two and three quarter inch. So once I have this clamped into my drill press, I can just take this, pop it in the first hole, drill, pull it out, put it in the next hole, drill, 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 and I'll have two and a half inches all the way down. So I have to get this clamped in my drill press and do that next. All right, so, Here's what I got set up. I got me a little jig set up. Um, I've already drilled a few holes. I can get it up and out of here. And who's holding this up? So I got it. Have it saved. Have it clamped to my drill press. This is a 15 30 second, uh, what do they call it? Brad tip bit. So it has a little tip on the um, in the middle, in the center, and then it has a blade that goes around the outside and it helps cut away at the vinyl. You really need something like this for vinyl. If you don't, um, let's see if I can show you an example. Because everybody learns through their mistakes. I tried using a regular drill bit and you can see right here it just breaks the vinyl away once the end gets through some of them cut really clean uh, I tried to go as slow and uh, with the bit speed as slow as I could and it still still did something like that then there's another one um, there's another one I mean it just every once in a while I kept doing it this I have the, I set up my jig. This first dowel is a half inch dowel and then I sand it around the edges to make it smaller than 15, 30 seconds. Then I mounted it one and a half inches in from the end. This hole is two and a half inches from there. So the first hole you have to drill on the end is, is uh, at, um, one and a quarter inch so your first hole is at one and a quarter inch I was a little off center on that one uh, try to be as center as possible because it's going to help line up your next one so then you put it in your jig and bring it up and then what you do is you drill a hole then you come up do the next one drill a hole do the next one, drill the hole, next one, and then where I'm at now. Now the bit is going to rub a little bit on this edge. I'm not too worried about that. That's, that's going to be hidden. It's on the inside. No one's going to see it. So, but when you drill this hole, you want to come down into the vinyl, and as soon as you hit it, you really need to slow down. 
come in and then you'll you'll hear the edge of the bit there'll be the tip will hit and then you'll hear like a scraping and that's that's that edge around the outside hitting the vinyl now you got to be careful if you leave the leave it running because see it wants to hit and then you go to the next one Know if you can hear that and you, you see that little pop right when the bit is done that's where on with a normal drill bit whoops that's where uh, a normal drill bit would break that vinyl so with this drill bit because it cuts around the edge it does a pretty good job of getting all the way through so this piece of vinyl I need to do 25 holes and cut this through and I think it's uh, 68 and three quarters I'll I'll have the measurements of each one of your pieces of vinyl because when you get them they're 150 inches long when you buy them at like uh, Home Depot, this is 150 inches. And then once you do 50 holes, or no, 25, because I, I want mine done in two sections. So 50 holes is uh, a certain measurement. I'll, 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 I'll give the measurements later. But what I did is I cut them in half so that I can fold them. 150 inch string would be two pieces of vinyl folded in half easier to transport get it upstairs and to mount it so that's that's my idea if I am going to go do somebody else's house it's a lot easier to transport two five and a half foot pieces or six foot pieces um, than 12 foot pieces I don't the bed of my truck is only a five foot bed so I don't have a big old flatbed or anything like that so it like, makes it a lot easier to transport get it to and from get it upstairs and to get it mounted so let me get all these uh, holes done all right so after you're done doing one 25 uh, bulb string or stretch or piece of vinyl need to clean this hole out because it gets pretty filled up uh, you could just take the vinyl out and then go ahead and drill on down and it'll dig it all it'll dig any of the extra gunk out of there but then if I let me put this key back in here where it belongs or I'll be looking everywhere for it once you're done you have 25 in, 25 holes this hole should be one and a quarter inch from the end and this hole one and a quarter inch from the end that way when you join whoops I kind of pushed that got to be careful um, that way when you join two of these together when you butt them up end to end these you butt them up end to end this um, this last hole will be two and a half inches from the other hole and you know anybody looking at it won't see a strange looking space between bulbs so it's always inch and a quarter from here and inch and a quarter on this end and then you should have 23 holes in between those two for a total of 25 so you can see instead of um, having any of that broken vinyl these holes look all nice and clean and then you'll be ready to snap the bulbs into them they're 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter which is 15 30 seconds of an inch all right so Excuse my little bit of a mess here. Things are kind of congested because I got Christmas stuff down everywhere. So my shop's kind of like full of containers. But 
Here is the total strip all the way down. This is one 50 bulbs, goes all the way down to there, and then comes across. Um, see if I turn them upside down, you can see inside all the wiring. And here were two, uh, two of them come together. So total length is about 10 foot. Here's where your power and your data connection comes in. And then at the end, you have a connection to add another, to continue to another strip. And this right here is where you can actually do a power injection from the same power supply. So what I have to do though, is I have to hook this one set up and I have to see how much, how many amps is being pulled by this one string. I'm going to actually see it um, and then put it on full bright white to get the max amps pulled from this one string. They say 4.5 to 5 amps per channel on the dig quad controller. So uh, I want to see how many I can get this string is supposed to be 1.25 amps per string and um, at full bright white. I need to find out for sure. Each bulb is supposed to only pull, pull like 0.3 watts. So we'll see. We'll hook it up. We'll see what it pulls. And uh, that will help calculate how many strings I can put on each channel before I have to add another dig quad or dig uno <clears throat> and um you know and and do the whole setup for my house so i'll be back on that all right so here you go one string 10 foot 50 bulbs hooked into a uh, this is a node mcu running ESP, I don't know, what is it, 8266 or something like that. Um, so this is just for testing. Fully maxed out on white. Got a little 12 volt uh, converter there. Because I needed 5 volts to run that. The dig quad runs on 12. The one I'm going to be using. It goes, I think, from 5 to 24 volts. Uh, so the power supply is up. Everything's running. And at full brightness I'm at 1420 milliamps so 1.42 amps so that's what I'm going to use to calculate how many so if I can if, if four and a half to five amps per string 1.5 so 100 bulbs would be three so it looks like I can do about hmm be pushing six amp if I do 200 bulbs per channel now this is max um, I'm not going to be running this on max and from what I understand you can reduce 25 to 30 percent so that pretty much puts us at about one amp per string so that means I could do uh, five strings of 50 250 bulbs 250 LEDs per channel so it gives me about a thousand LEDs per dig quad and so these things are pretty cool though while I have this up I can set up get into the app which is this right here and bring the brightness down to about half I mean that's still pretty nice color you can see now I'm only running at 0.75 amps shoot that's three quarters of an amp so I could even be better and that's on white though if I turn around and I do an effect let's say I want to do fireworks 
I mean, there's fireworks going. Uh, I could actually do it uh, starburst. This is pretty cool. Uh, glitter. Uh, here's Halloween. And you can see with that, with those effects, I'm only using like 0.3 amps now. Halloween eyes. I'm not really sure what that does. Little spooky lights, I guess. Little, little eyeballs running around the house. That's kind of cool. Heartbeat. <laughs> uh, let's see. I see you. Uh, this is supposed to be like a like a heart monitor. <laughs> Not really sure. Uh, let's see. Meteor. I don't know, neighbor, neighbors might not like his meteor shower. Multi Comet. Now I can turn around and I can set this to add more colors. So I could do a second color of red. Like say I want to do a patriotic red, white, and blue. So here's... Um... Say 4th of July. I'm going to blue. Go back to effects. And then do the fireworks. With red, white, and blue. I see a lot of red and white. I don't see any blue. Do I have blue selected? Yeah. Oh, they got they got so many things you can be doing. Now some of these are already presets. Um, here's candy, cloud. Uh, let's see. Ice fire. I don't know what ice fire is. Now you got to imagine this going around the whole house. Here's lava. So it's pretty cool. The, the effects use the lights that you have set. Like if I want to do Halloween. Uh, let's get something way down here. How about strobe? That would probably have people having seizures or something. So I don't know if I want to do all that. Uh, sunrise. The little blinking thing. Um, I think because my data cable gets a little loose, which I'll tighten that up when I do it. But the, the data cable, that's sunrise. That's pretty cool. See a little flashing that it gets because the data cable's loose. Tetrix. Try Chase. There's red, white, and blue. There's a good patriotic look. Red, white, and blue. Hold that data cable so it doesn't flash. As long as it's now that's using a half amp right there. So I do one string at a half amp. That's a hundred bulbs. That's five hundred bulbs right there. I could do. So give me a holler. Give me a follow. Subscribe. Let me know what you think.